Today, I'm gonna to talk about why this is the best accessory I have in my home studio, and I'm not talking about the phone. Hi folks, I'm Mike, and I hope you're doing well. Now, if like me, you've got a little home recording studio set up, you've probably found yourself contorting into all kinds of positions as you reach for the mouse and keyboard and then get back to your guitar and start singing and stuff it up and go back for the keyboard again. It can really mess with your head. Added to this, there are some really good reasons to get away from your PC, a better recording space, better acoustics, and uh, not least of which to get away from those noisy PC fans. Before long, it becomes obvious that you need something a bit more convenient to control your door. And so you start poring over sexy pictures of control services, etc., etc. When ironically, the thing that you actually need is right in your hand. Now, door controller apps are nothing new, but they've been kind of overlooked, in my opinion, perhaps because we like spending money on new bits of gear. And you know, don't get me wrong, the Presonus fader port or a full on Mackie control surface. They're nice bits of gear if you're an engineer, but they lack portability and they don't cost $6. So a door controller app solves a lot of those problems. You install it on your phone, there's a little bit of setup on your PC or your Mac, and then you're up and running. You can stop and start your track. You can control the mix in your headphones. It's an awesome piece of kit for just a few dollars. My preferred controller app is called Touch Door on Android. I love it, it does everything I need, but I should mention I'm not being sponsored by them, I'm not affiliated with them. Um, there are other apps out there which are really, really good too. You should give them a test run. Uh, often there's free versions which have ads, etc. and then for a few dollars, you're gonna get a full version and be able to use it to your heart's content. Now there are some which are specific for the door that you're using, um, but I've used Touch Door with Pro Tools, with Cubase, with Logic, and I'm now using it with Studio One, it works awesomely, there's a whole list of them. Um, but yeah, make sure you find one which is compatible for the door you're using, and if you swap from one door to another, then get one that, which works with a few. That's it folks, that's what I have to say. Touch Door is by far the best accessory and best value for money accessory that I've bought for my home studio. Please check out my other video on how to set up Touch Door with Studio One. And this is a brand new channel, so please subscribe and ring the bell on YouTube where you'll be notified of new videos I make. Have a great day, look after each other. Thanks for listening.